was brillig, and the slithy toves did gyre and gimble in the wabe. All mimsy were the boar groves, and the mome raths outgrabe. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jubjub burn, and shun the frumious bandersnatch. Hi, I'm Helen Sword. This is Helen's Word, and these opening stanzas of Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky seem to me as good a way as any to introduce this rather Jabberwockian-looking object, which is not a Bora Grove or a Bandersnatch, but something called a Theracane. It's designed to massage your most painful trigger points. Now you can do this five-minute writing warm-up on your own, or better yet, in conversation with other writers. So grab a notebook and a pen, and when you're ready, let's do some writing. I love my Theracane. It comes apart for easy packing, so I can take it with me whenever I travel to help ease my aches and pains. Here's how it works. You find a sore spot on your back or neck or whatever. Then you manipulate the Theracane so that the pressure on that spot is just enough to hurt a bit, but not too much. And I find that if I dig into each trigger point for a minute or two, then go away and work on another one, everything starts to loosen up and feel much better. So let's try using a similar technique to press on our writing-related trigger points. First, open up your notebook and very quickly write down one or two of your aspects of your writing practice that cause you pain or stress. Maybe you hate getting started or checking the footnotes or you find it hard to deal with criticism of your writing. Just take 15 seconds or so to jot down whatever pops into your mind first, aspects of your writing that cause you pain or stress. All right, and now it's time to press down on that trigger point until it eases up a bit. Or if you prefer, you can hunt down that pesky jabberwock and zap it with your magic theracane. Right on it, push on it, see if you can break through it. You've got five minutes for this exercise, starting now.
And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. O frabjous day, callooh, callay, he chortled in his joy. That's the father welcoming back his victorious son who has killed the Jabberwock with his vorpal sword. Maybe a writing related Jabberwocks can't be vanquished quite so easily, but you can keep putting pressure on them by writing and thinking and talking about them rather than just ignoring the pain. Thanks for showing up to write, and I'll see you next time.